Coming up here live at 4.30, a major breaking development just coming in over Elon Musk's attempt to buy Twitter. Plus, a new look at the governor's $18 billion plan to help Californians deal with inflation. And then the scramble to find some relief amid this ongoing shortage of baby formula. CBS 8 Mornings starts right now. Hello, everyone. Here on this Friday, we are coming to you live at 4.30 a.m. with some breaking news. Elon Musk says his deal with Twitter is now on hold temporarily. He tweeted the deal was put on pause, quote, pending details supporting calculation that spam slash fake accounts do indeed represent less than 5% of users, end quote. Musk is trying to buy Twitter for $44 billion. He's just trying to make sure that uh, all those users are legit. Right, right. Because we, as we know, with, with lots bots. of accounts, yeah. there's bots constantly, constantly mm -hmm. going on feeds. I saw the Padres feed the other day, and there were so many bots that were on there Anytime asking people to join their investment uh, company. Yeah. Oh, don't click fall here. For those. No. Don't yeah. do it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm Eric Conner here on a Friday. Glad you're with us. And I'm Nadia Rampour. Yes, it's Friday. Keyword right yeah. there. So thanks for joining us here. Let's send it over to Evan. Cannot wait for this weekend. Uh, <laughs> you're telling me the guy who's offering me 10 Bitcoin is no, not yeah, legit don't click on, on his. No, do not <laughs> no, do that. Interesting. You learn something new every day. Good morning. Yes, it is going to be a nice day out there, a nice weekend. Uh, it's 431 right now. Temperatures are pretty chilly out there, but we are warmer than we were yesterday. Yesterday morning, we broke some early morning records records just for the day. Today there is the chance of that, but we are a little bit warmer, so we're moving in the right direction. 77 this afternoon along the coast, 87 inland. Triple digits return for the deserts, and then take a look at your weekend forecast. Where we go from here? Tomorrow, the warmest day of the week. Saturday is expected to see 80 degree temperatures along the immediate coastline. Mid 70s as we head towards Sunday, where a breeze could return. We'll have details on this ridge of high pressure overhead, how it's going to affect us over the weekend, and what next week looks like. Looks like just a few minutes out. When I saw all these houses basically ground to zero, so I mean, it's really devastating. Families in Orange County are trying to pick up the pieces this morning after a wildfire devastated their community. Yeah, this is a major fire evacuation order still in effect right now for those residents in Laguna Niguel. Right, and meantime, firefighters are making progress still. This is being called the coastal fire. It is holding at 200 acres, so it has not grown in 24 hours. And at last check, it is 15% contained now. So we have a little increase in containment numbers from zero, which was where it was yesterday morning. At least 20 homes have been destroyed, 11 damaged. We talked to one woman who says she lost everything. Thing, but firefighters were able to save one important photo. You're watching CBS 8 Mornings at 5. 5 o'clock here on this Friday. Glad you're waking up with us. I'm Eric Connert. And I'm Nadia Rampour. Now, we, before we get to your weather and this warm-up, we want to get right to the latest on the wildfire that's still burning in Orange County. Yeah, so this morning we have an update to that breaking news story we brought you yesterday here. This is the new look at the damage caused by that fire in Laguna Niguel. More than 500 firefighters responded to this. Two were briefly hospitalized with injuries. Fortunately, no deaths have been reported here. Officials say more than two dozen homes were damaged or destroyed. Right now, the exact cause of this fire still under investigation, but Utility Southern California Edison reports circuit activity happened there in the time that this fire started. Inflation is a big issue impacting San Diego, and it is our top story here at 530. Glad you're with us on this Friday. I'm Eric Connert. And I'm Nettie Rompour. And today, Governor Gavin Newsom expected to release an updated state budget proposal. And this does include a plan to address rising gas prices, so money may be coming your way. Here's CBS 8's Ariana Cohen working for you to explain what might be changing. Good morning, Ariana. Good morning. Yes, a big part of his budget plan is the gas rebate. You could see here at Arco, some of the gas prices are over $6. Now included in this plan is $18 billion to help Californians with rising costs due to inflation. Registered car owners will get $400 to help with rising gas prices. Now economists say that this comes at a time when inflation is at its highest we've seen since the early 80s. Things can be replaced yeah. and people can. 
A closer look at the devastation from a wildfire in Orange County and where the firefight stands now. Plus, the governor is hours away from releasing his revised budget, and it includes a gas rebate. We have reaction. A popular event in Escondido is back. We are live with a preview of Cruising Grand. Ohana is what it's all about. How Hawaiians are keeping their culture alive in San Diego, and we'll give away another trip to Maui. Plus, we are riding this May heat wave into the weekend. 80 degree temperatures along the coast as early as tomorrow. Your forecast is coming up. You're up with CBS 8. I saw all these houses basically ground to zero. So, I mean, it's really devastating. Families in Orange County are trying to pick up the pieces this morning after a wildfire devastated their community. Thanks for joining us here at 6 a.m. everyone on this Friday. I'm Eric Connert. And I'm Nettie Rompour. And evacuation orders are still in effect right now for those residents in the Laguna Niguel area. Meantime, firefighters, they are making progress on what's called the coastal fire. So it's holding at 200 acres. It has not grown in size, which is a great news. And then at last check, now 15% contained at least 20 homes destroyed, 11 of them damaged. We talked to one woman who says she lost everything, but firefighters were able to save one important photo. It's devastating. It looks like a war zone. I mean, I can't even believe it. Next 7, an update on the Orange County wildfire as residents are returning to their burned homes. There are a lot of people out there who are struggling. This kid really helped them. Plus, the release of California's new budget just hours away with a gas rebate for drivers. And cruising in Escondido, we have a special preview of a popular event that's returned. You're watching CBS 8 Mornings at 7. All right, everybody, waking up here, and uh, maybe you woke up before your alarm clock because there's a little rattling going out there. Yes, did you feel this? The USGS reporting a 3.5 magnitude earthquake here in San Diego. And this happened just about 6.32. That's the last reported time about a half hour ago, right near the Palomar Observatory on Palomar Mountain. That's where the center of this is. No reports of any injuries or damage. I mean, it just happened yeah. moments ago, so it's still fairly small quake, but still, you feel the shaking underneath you, and it's always nerve-wracking. People saying in Vista, Escondido, Valley mm -hmm. Center, uh, Renee says this woke me up. I'm north of the city of Escondido, okay. and now I'm going back to bed. Now so, go back to bed. You know, Enjoy, Renee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the rattling, not enough to like keep you up all day. Yes. Get back to bed. Yeah, yeah we had reports in uh, Hidden Meadows. Uh, Deb felt it there. So, you know, all over town, it seems, especially North County. Oh, there we go. Yeah, and Temecula. There it is. That's the map of it. Mm -hmm. uh, This is a CBS 8 News update. Good morning. Time now, 726. I'm Nettie Iranpour. I'm Eric Connor. So glad you are with us here. An earthquake this morning to tell you about. Maybe you felt it. USGS reporting a 3.5 magnitude quake near Palomar Mountain. It was just about an hour ago. Could be felt along the Escondido and Oceanside area. No reports of any injuries. We have heard of minor damage. We're going to bring you uh, all the updates as soon as we get them into our newsroom. And in just a few hours here, Governor Gavin Newsom will be revealing his updated budget proposal. This includes $18 billion to help Californians with rising costs tied to inflation. For registered car owners, they will receive $400 to help with rising gas prices in this proposal. Almost $3 billion would help with rental assistance and past due utility bills. $157 million would go towards waiving the cost of child care for low-income families. Families in Orange County trying to pick up the pieces this morning to see what's left after this wildfire devastated many homes. In the meantime, firefighters are making progress on the coastal fire. It is holding at 200 acres. It did not grow in over 24 hours, and at last checked, it is 15% contained. At least 20 homes destroyed in this fire. I mean, you see how much is lost there. 11 homes damaged. Crews from San Diego are currently there helping with this. Cal Fire locally does say that their crews here are staffed ready to respond to anything locally. And we are talking about quite a warm up in time for the weekend. Oh, right yeah. Now. Peaking tomorrow. Today is another warm one, but by tomorrow, we've got widespread 80s along the coast, 90s inland, another beautiful start to our Friday. 
Friday. Looking live outside at Pacific Beach. So things are really calm outside. As far as wind speeds go, we've calmed down dramatically. By the time we get to this afternoon, we're going for the upper 70s. 80s come into play tomorrow along the coast. 90s inland tomorrow. Still hanging on to plenty of sunshine. As we go into early next week, we'll start to see those, see those temperatures decline, but really not all that dramatically. Still going to stay in the 70s along the coast and the mountaintops. Triple digits remain all the way through Thursday of next week. Want to take you to one crash that just popped up. This one on the 94. A little bit of slower speeds. Number one lane blocked with the 94 westbound at the 28th Street exit. Have a great Friday, everyone. And the flow won't work. Next today, Governor Gavin Newsom set to release his updated budget proposal, and this means you may be getting a big check to fight those high gas prices. We'll explain the plan. Plus, Elon Musk's Twitter takeover hits a roadblock as Musk asks for more information. And summer's right around the corner here. What's better than catching some waves, right? One group joining us on our back lot to discuss their free surf event this weekend. Then your next meal could help foster kids in need. How one charity is partnering with dozens of San Diego restaurants. You're watching CBS 8 Mornings at 8. May not have needed the alarm or your phone to wake you up this morning. It might have been a little rattle where you live. Did you feel that? Yeah, USGS reporting a 3.5 magnitude earthquake right here in San Diego. Thanks for joining us in our 8 a.m. hour. I'm Eric Connert. And I'm Netta Irampour. This happened at 632, according to the uh, USGS, right near Palomar Observatory. So you can kind of see where the arrow is circling there on the map. There's a star. I know it's kind of hard to see on the screen, at least on our TVs, but it's on Palomar Mountain. There we go, zooming in. Way to go, Purdue. Wow. Sir, who's doing okay. that? Yeah, Palomar's right up there to the northeast the of it. Then. Okay, so Palomar Observatory, the mountain, all mm -hmm. in that area. So people have been reported feeling this in the North County, especially, right? Escondido, yeah. Fallbrook Valley area. Valley Center. Uh, one, so one person from Escondido said that a lamp fell over on their mm -hmm. nightstand from the shaking. And there's someone who said their fishbowl was sloshing yeah, around yeah. a little. And Hopefully the fish is fine. One other person said that if you were talking or moving, you probably didn't right, feel it. Right. So, you know, 3.5 is, you know, not the largest, but enough to, you know, mm -hmm. shake some things. I was surprised one of our viewers on our Facebook page commented in El Cajon, that's where he felt it. Right. So parts of East County, perhaps you're noticing, or maybe you've felt it at 632 is when it happened again. Uh, no reports of any injuries or damage. We'll, of course, bring you any more updates on it. Next at 11, a Border Patrol agent is dead following a crash near the border. We are live at the scene with the latest on the investigation. And firefighters are still battling that massive wildfire in Orange County this morning. We have the latest on containment efforts and a closer look now at the aftermath. Plus, a nationwide shortage of baby formula is sending parents scrambling to find it on empty shelves across the country. What the president and lawmakers plan on doing to help. And the heat wave continues across Southern California. San Diego County temperatures are warming up to the 70s along the coast to 80s inland. Tomorrow, widespread 90s in the forecast. We'll talk about how warm it's going to stay and just for how long. Your forecast is coming up here on CBS 8 News Live at 11. This is CBS 8 News Live at 11. Thanks so much for being here. I'm Eric Connert. And I'm Netta Irampour. We're glad you're with us. We do want to begin with this developing story right now. A Border Patrol agent is dead following a crash near the U.S.-Mexico border. This happened in the 28,000 block of Highway 94 just after 5.30 this morning. And this is in the Campo area. Here's a look at the map here. Chopper 8 flew over the scene earlier. And you can see uh, from those aerial of foot that footage that there was a heavy law enforcement presence out there. Let's send it over now to CBS 8's Ariana Cohen. She has been at this scene since earlier this morning. Joining us now with the very latest. What can you tell us, Ariana? Welcome back here, everyone. I'm Eric Connert. And I'm Netta Irampour. Thanks for being here with us. Time now is 1131. A Border Patrol agent has died following a crash. This happened near the U.S.-Mexico border. It happened here in the 28,000 block of Highway 94 just after 530 this morning. This is in the Campo area. CBS 8's Ariana Cohen has been at the scene for the past couple of hours now. Joining us now live with the latest developments. Ariana? Next at noon, a Border Patrol agent dead after a terrible crash while on duty. We're bringing you the latest on this developing situation. 
Plus, a new effort to help victims of domestic abuse by implementing tight rules on offenders. We'll explain. Then how the president and lawmakers claim they're stepping in to help scrambling parents deal with a nationwide shortage of baby formula. And we just keep climbing. Afternoon high temperatures today in the 70s along the coast to 80s inland. Get ready for 80s along the coast and 90s inland by tomorrow. CBS 8 News live at noon starts right now. This is CBS 8 News live at noon. We are going to start this noon hour with this developing story here. You can see this video of uh, what happened, this single car crash. A Border Patrol agent is dead following this crash near the U.S.-Mexico border. This is in the Campo area. Chopper 8 was up and over the scene earlier. As you can see, there was heavy law enforcement presence. It's our top story here at noon. I'm Heather Myers. And I'm Nettie Irampour. Thanks so much for joining us. This happened in the 28,000 block of Highway 94, State Route 94, just after 5.30 this morning. And CBS 8's Ariana Cohen has been at the scene for the past few hours, joining us now with the very latest. This is just one of the 20 homes damaged by the coastal fire. I'm in Coronado Point with the latest on the damage. With gas prices through the roof, brazen thieves hit a car in Mission Bay. Never had coronavirus before? Well, you're in the minority. What medical experts are saying, how we can learn from that. Plus, San Diego's first milk bank and how it's helping out during the baby formula shortage. And finally, a children's band that plays what the parents want to hear, the kid tributes. CBS 8 News Live at 6 starts now. Crews in Orange County are still battling the coastal fire and working to save more homes from burning. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetta. I'm Marcella Lee. They are up against dry conditions and wind tonight as they try to get those flames under control in Laguna Niguel. It is burning just north of Dana Point. The exact area is San Tropez and Laguna Ridge Trail. That's southeast of Laguna Beach. Now, according to the latest update from firefighters, about 200 acres have burned. The coastal fire, as it's being called, is 15% contained. 20 homes have burned. 11 have been damaged. About 550 firefighters, including San Diego firefighters, are battling the flames. CBS 8's Kirsten Holmes is live in Orange County tonight with a look at the damage. Kirsten. quarter begins right now. Well, the Padres are in Atlanta tonight where they open a nine game road trip tomorrow. Good evening. John Howard here with the final quarter as well as the Padres are doing in the standings well above 500 and vying for the division title. They are doing it with an offense that ranks in the bottom third of the league. We just saw the fire like, you know, just coming up the hills. No active fire, but crews are continuing to mop up hot spots. Californians making minimum wage are set to get a raise. We have taken action to launch mobile crisis response teams. The innovative way San Diego County is handling mental health crisis calls. I'm proud of the stuff that I've been able to accomplish and overcome. A wounded Marine veteran finds a new way to represent his country and the life-saving treatment for a young giraffe at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. CBS 8 News live at 11 starts right now. Tonight, crews are making great progress in containing a wildfire that devastated an upscale coastal community in Orange County. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carla Chiquetta. I'm Marcella Lee. The coastal fire broke out yesterday in a canyon near the Coronado Point neighborhood in Laguna Niguel. Tonight, crews are holding it at about 200 acres with containment still at only 15%. Officials say the fire destroyed at least 20 homes and left 11 others damaged. CBS 8's Jasmine Ramirez has been in the neighborhood all night where evacuations are still in effect. Jasmine. The evacuations will remain in effect overnight as crews continue to put out hot spots and monitor homes, some of which are still smoking. Now, this is one of 20 homes that is destroyed, and officials say at least 11 more are damaged. 
The Late Show with Stephen Colbert is next. Tonight's guests, Glenn Close and Cheryl Crow. Good night, San Diego.